Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you like solving mathematical problems and if you know the basic geometry, area of circle and sectors and the properties of equilateral triangles, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a unit circle. Two more copies of the circle are taken and placed in such a way that the centers of all the three circles are collinear that is lying on the same line. Now the non-intersecting part of the middle circle is shaded with blue color. Then my problem is what is the area of this blue shaded region? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, all the circles are of radius 1 unit. And then the centers are collinear. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the area of this blue shaded region. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now check the diagram. The first thing we have to notice is the symmetry of the figure. We can split the figure into four equal parts. So if we can find the area of one part, the final answer is four times this area. So now our aim is to find the area of one such part. Now closely observe the figure. We can see that the blue region is actually a quarter circle subtracted by this curved triangular shape. And the area of the quarter circle is 1 by 4 of area of the complete circle, which is pi r square. But we have radius equal to 1 unit. So the area will be 1 by 4 into pi into 1 square that is equal to pi by 4 square units. Now our next target is to find the area of this part. But how to find that? Let's see. If we closely observe this part, we can see an equilateral triangle here. And why is it equilateral? Because if we consider the whole figure, we can see that each side of this triangle is in fact a radius of each of these circles. So all of them are equal to one unit. So this yellow triangle should be an equilateral triangle. And we have area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square when a is the side length. In this case, we have a equal to 1 and hence area equal to root 3 by 4 square units. Now we have to find the area of this red shaded region. Due to the symmetry, these two pieces are identical. So it is enough to find the area of one piece and multiply by 2. But how to find that? If we consider this piece along with our equilateral triangle, this whole thing is actually a circular sector of the unit circle. So we can calculate the required area by finding the area of this sector then subtracted by the area of this equilateral triangle which is equal to root 3 by 4. So all we want is to find the area of this sector. There is a beautiful formula to calculate the area of a sector of any size. Suppose we have a circle of radius r units and consider an arbitrary sector. Suppose the angle of the sector is x degree. Then the sector area is calculated by the formula pi r square into x by 360. Now come back to our problem. To calculate the area of this sector, we need to know the angle of the sector. But it is pretty clear because we have an equilateral triangle here, which means all the angles are 60 degree and hence the angle of the sector is also 60 degree. Then area of the sector is equal to pi r square into x by 360 where radius r equal to 1 and angle x equal to 60. Substituting these values will give area of the sector is equal to pi by 6 square units. After subtracting the area of the equilateral triangle, our required area will be pi by 6 minus root 3 by 4 square units. But we have two such parts. So the total area is equal to 2 times pi by 6 minus root 3 by 4 that is equal to pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2 square units. 
For the solution of our actual problem, we wanted to find the area of the entire curved triangular shape. So, along with pi by 3 minus root 3 by 2, add the area of this equilateral triangle also, which is equal to root 3 by 4. So, the total area of this shape is pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4 square units. We are almost done. As we told earlier, area of the left hand side is equal to pi by 4 minus area of this curved triangle, which we got pi by 3 minus root 3 by 4. After simplification we will get the area is equal to root 3 by 4 minus pi by 12 square units. Now we have the area of just one fourth part of the whole figure. So the total area is 4 times the area that we have and that is equal to root 3 minus pi by 3 square units. This value is approximately equal to 0 0.68485 square units and that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.